though I don't usually talk about subjects like this that are, in my belief, very controversial, I feel like with some of the videos that I've done recently and the information that has been revealed, perhaps this is something that needs to be revisited a little bit more in a thought. Sometimes cryptid creatures are caught by trail cams. And here's one instance of about 15, 20 that I could show you that show something that you can discern as probably not a human and probably really there in a photograph. Just like we look at modern and then all of a sudden super futuristic things like aliens sometimes it's good to look back the other way and see other possibilities we're gonna see what was caught here in the northwest of the United States coming into deer season where a man put a couple of trail cams up and decided to see if he could catch a bunch of deer coming through and because there was walking trails a little bit in there he faced them in and through those to see if he could see anything coming after a few days he came back and he caught this picture one of only a couple and in my opinion this is somewhat of a bad placement because of all the stickets that are in the way it won't pick up always that often but apparently there was a line runway that's here I don't know if it's showing too well in the photograph but what we're actually looking at is that man on the left here walking up to check his cam in doing so it snapped a shot of him which is not unique it happens every single time that somebody comes up and tries to get their trail cam unless they sneak up it from behind but the anomaly here is over on the right for it appears to be caught something here that has a glare of an eye shine of a hair and a beard and one can almost make out the form of a human body here with its arm coming down to a hand and another and it's quite bent over and it also is blocking the stick behind it there's a stick that comes up through here and it's not really showing up through what would be the creature's body. Now the hunter here is about six foot tall or just shy and no big deal. Not strange sized in any way or anything. But people are looking at this and from what is said about it that this to walking back here down the trail and hitting it and then going back this way or whatever is a good 30 feet and where this creature is if he stood there he'd only be about this tall standing up and now you can see this lurched effect where it looks like the guy's kind of lurched down this six foot tall guy, if he lurches down, gets under five foot, four and a half. Eh? Kind of strange. Seems to be a little bit of a miss there or blocking or just a back flash. But of course, this has been enhanced. So the flash is even worse on it to brighten up and see if you can see some type of the body there. If you don't do that enhancement, there's really just an eye shine, which one would think would be an owl or something like that, but those eyes are too far apart and too big. And again, if that guy goes and stands over there, if he puts his hand up, it's about where that guy's or whatever this creature's is, face is.
The reason I can think in my mind to revisit this concept and idea is a strange thing and kind of difficult to talk about in the modern day. But archaeology has now come to the conclusion that's somewhat hidden a little bit that up until the last ice age and the end of the last ice age, there were hominids still existive then and on past that we thought were long gone. The Homo erectus forms that really look hundreds of thousands of years old, and we realize now that, of course, things didn't go in a common linear form like we would think, where these Homo erectus forms became all of a sudden... Uh, more advanced form and there's none of the other ones left and uh, more advanced form none of the other ones left and then all of a sudden homo sapiens shows up for there are many homo erectus forms especially in africa and i've done a few different videos about this but also in australia and in the orient if you will showing that hominids had existed long after neanderthal even comes down to a more modern time than we real originally give credit to, and or especially hybrids. I really think that what we're looking at in human evolution is a lot of hybridization. So there's a point that there is more primitive people and more advanced people on this planet. In fact, some that you wouldn't even really call people up until a modern time and their modern form is brought about in a modern time something real close to modern time in correlation to the data and the time that we're looking at here and so if you think of something we thought of not too long ago as homo erectus forms in its early form they're still missing the missing link and all of that right guys but we're just pulling out that one point and all the myriad of forms of homo erectus actually show up that homo erectus started hybridizing with something because of the different forms that's there and it's not just changes because if it was just changes going that way then that one all the way over there wouldn't look like that this one wouldn't look like this. Radical changes and so on. And so we find that modern Homo sapiens have been around for about 315,000 years. And so modern Homo sapiens have been around 300,000 years longer than a lot of the human forms that we see today that are, again are hybrid forms. Not to go too deep into it or too sensitive. Let's look at it a different way. If it's possible that something that's well over 700,000 years ago didn't live to 400,000, but all the way down into a form all the way at the last ice age, say 15,000 years ago, like Homo sapiens having 300,000 years overlapping, no linear form whatsoever, is it possible that one of these forms of something from a million and a half years ago that we don't even really consider on our lineage at this point was still existing was it possible that somewhere in some little niche of africa or some place that there was a hominid that was much more or less advanced than homo erectus too that also still was existing when we think of Homo erectus existing. Well, they've kind of found that now too. So, we haven't found any skull forms or anything of this idea. Could be the way they, they dispose of their dead and all kinds of things. But looking at this from a rational point of view, if you just go there, if you understand what I'm saying, and say, all right, well, if we go there, and then we have to sit in here and talk about it, then if something a million and a half years ago could have lasted to 700 to 400,000 years ago, like we have found, and on past, and Homo erectus has seemed to form down until real close to a modern time and past, 
I know it's dreaming and it's stretching and all kinds of thoughts here, but it's possible that some form of that hominid and proto-hominid situation that led maybe to and maybe not to any portion of any different form of humanity that we have here and still exists in some little pockets around the world sure this has been the dream for generations and hundreds of years and really a long time people talking about these hominid types that had been existing on for a long time abominable snowman here and there there bigfoots but no that sasquatch indians talked about it yowie and all these ones that are on islands and places that people talk about and it's not something that looks homo erectus is it in our hairiest little ideas of homo erectus it doesn't quite come out to that it looks more like well it looks our archaeopithecus block eye something around on that thing in that strain maybe perhaps demancy strange to have to think about this and revisit it but uh, I don't usually go off things like this you know uh, there's lots of shines. Hell, I just made a video where I would love for aliens to be going around peekabooing on us, but it's all been pretty much debunked. Even those ones that the U.S. government put out, which is kind of ambiguous, too, knowing that somebody simplistically is people that are in photography and stuff and do movie shots could turn around and go, oh, this is what this is, and in fact, I don't even fly planes, but I know how that works and what this is. And they're all pretty much denied. And I'd like to deny every single thing like this, and I do pretty much across the board. But much like Project Blue Book talking about aliens, while 99.7% of them all got dismissed as swamp gas and things, and most of the, some of those are pretty questionable as what they tried to put down as, but then there's still a percentage, small be it small, that shows that, well, there were some things that can't be explained, and it's pretty much enough evidence where they can't just go, this guy freaked out. Here's another weird thing. This guy didn't really know this happened until he got to look at that shot. And so you can imagine this thing crouched down somewhere, and he came right by him. And as he came right by him, the guy heard him, and as he's going away, he's walking in step with him so he doesn't hear, and he's real careful. And in taking that glance, flash. Or you could dream that this guy has a seven-foot friend that's wearing platform shoes, or they built up the ground right there, and you can't see it because of the mist, and put somebody in a ghillie suit. What are your thoughts on this one and your thoughts on the possibility of a hominid lasting much longer? Let me know down in the comments below. You know, where I was a kid, it seemed like that the generation before us and before that, and the grandparents had this idea of an island of lost things like King Kong and all these things could have been there. And there would have been this ape thing that's like a gorilla, but it's a whole lot bigger. And we're looking at something that's like that right here. All it takes is a lengthening of the legs. But other things, you know, like Komodo dragons and so on. Well, that's just a giant monitor lizard. I've talked about dragons and all those things that people talk about too and where that mythology comes from, so that disintegrates in itself. But this is something attached to humanity, and because of archaeology and its showing, it seems to be, well, I'm not going to turn around and tell you it, it has credence or it has that much possibility, but there are a few things that show out that there's there's that slim, slim idea that we talk about where 99.7% of these are crap. I've seen one where it generally looks like some elder chimpanzees have gotten loosed in the Florida swamp. I live here in Texas, and right near me is another story where people think this is all Pacific South, uh, Northwest and something that's 
in the abominable Himalayas. But it's not. It's in the in-betweens is where it is. And near me, there's the Boggy Creek Monster in Falk, Texas, and all down through what's known as Marshall and Sulphur River. And there are places all through there and through these ancient pine forests that really is not much going on there. Where things could still exist, dwindling away, but you'd wonder if it got to a point of dwindling away that it would have to just evaporate due to gene pools and possibilities. Strangely, I feel like maybe 15, 20,000 years ago there might have been something like this. But in a modern day, you have to go, no, man, everybody, you know. But then something like this keeps popping up and making you think. And of course, I'm already past the point of dismissing everything that comes out about it. Yet then all of a sudden, there's one of those things that pops up and there's one of those snowballs that goes flying across in the middle of hell and you're like, well, there's, there's one of those snowballs again. Again, let me know what you think. I'm just rambling on now about some picture taken off a trail cam with a glare in the eye thing that it looks like off in the distance that would have made somebody about eight, nine foot tall. But what the hell? Peace.